Hey, I'm back with another clothing thrift haul from my friend's thrift store who gives me really good deals. She gave me all this stuff for $40. Got a big Ikea bag full, not that one, but this one. And then a big pile that I had to put up, wrap up in a sheet because I didn't have any more room in my bag. How many pieces it is, but I'm going to, as I go through, I'll keep count. And then at the end, we will see how many pieces I got. My name is Mary and I go by Blue Dane Vintage and I love thrifting. Lately I've been obsessed with thrifting really cheap clothes that I can send into ThreadUp or take to buy sell trade stores and I've also sent a few things into the Real Real. Um, so I'm giving that a try as well. So we're going to get right into it. Okay first we have Banana Republic. It's like a little jacket, sleeveless jacket. It's kind of heavier a vest thing that I'm gonna see if that's definitely just going to um, thread up although I might see if the real real takes and Republic pieces like that this is Ann Taylor just a little knit short sleeve top All these I, these first items here, I'm definitely sending. They're, I'm not taking to buy sell trade first, I probably. Um, I'm just going to send them to thread up or check with the real real. This is just a loft, just a lightweight striped blouse, and another Ann Taylor loft, little short sleeve kind of dolman sleeve top. That is kind of summary though. I might take that to buy sell trade first just to see if they're going to take it because summer is going by very quickly. Here's another Ann Taylor loft skirt for thread up. And this is Hot Mond, Hot Mond. Just a black cropped top. Blouse, cute with pants or a skirt for work. Talbots, skirt, very pretty for thread up. This is, I looked at it before, where is it? Where's the tag? I know it's in there because I found it earlier. Oh, come on. Anyway, this is Love by Design. I've heard that brand. It's just a cropped, really lightweight knit sweater with these cute little ruffly sleeves. Uh-oh, there's a pull right there. I'll have to see if I can fix that. Uh, and again, the brand for this is Love by Design. I need to do more research, but I think that's a good brand. I don't know. And the same with this one, Everlane. Just another lightweight knit short sleeve sweater. And Lauren Ralph Lauren. This I might check with the real real. Just a houndstooth skirt with kind of a couple of little slits in the back, like double slits in the back. Like that. It's pretty wrinkly. That's 10 items. Next we have Zach and Rachel Woman. Just sit back a little bit. Just some pants, real comfy, kind of with a little bit of a stretch. Kind of a, a window pane plaid, is that what that's called? Good for work. This is um, Daniel Rain, but I don't think I can keep this because the zipper's broken. I noticed that, so I don't think I can fix that. So that might be a reject. Then uh, OXOXO, a little cute little cropped um, fitted jacket. And Larry Levine Petite. These are kind of like a linen cropped pants. I might take them to buy sell trade because it's summer now and by the time thread up processes this it's probably going to be fall so I'll probably take those to buy sell trade first over there this one is studio Y 
real cute skirt with a ruffly bottom. And the limited skirt. Cute for work. And this one is Levi's brand sweater. And this is Vertigo Paris. I don't know if that's a fancy brand, but this is a really cute kind of a, uh, what do you call that? A coat. What style of coat am I trying to think of? Trench coat, yeah. Never heard of this brand, it's single, and I don't know if this is old or not, but it's like a, a faux suede skirt with little cutouts at the bottom. Then good threads. I need to research that. I've I think I've heard of that that it's good, but it's just a kind of a, a slouchy sweater. That'll be good for fall. I lost count. Oh, that was ten more. Okay. Okay, that was twenty pieces. Next we have Citizens of Humanity, which I was very excited to find. Just a pair of white jeans. Kind of a skinny tapered leg. Are not are these guys or girls? It says 29, so I don't know if I, that would be a guys to me, but I don't know if Citizens of Humanity does unisex like that. I need to check it out. And I'm going to check with um, the Real Real to see if this is something they take or check you know comps on eBay and maybe sell them myself I'm not sure about that yet but if none of that you know pans out I'll take them to buy sell trade first same thing with these Tommy Hilfiger jeans I don't know if white jeans are good in the fall or winter but I should probably jump on this if white jeans are only good for summer. It says hipster boot and it's a size 10. So these are for sure women's. And this is just encore. Just a pair of skinny jeans, stretchy. These are going to buy, sell, trade. All this next stuff is going to buy, sell, trade first and then I'll try it at thread up. And then just a new with tag Levi's denizen jeans size. Oh, skinny jeans, 10 regular. So these are uh, women's or juniors. They're so they're tiny. So 10, this does not look like a, a 10, 10. So maybe these are girls jeans or would they be guys like a boy's size 10? I don't know. I don't know, I'll try it. I'll see if Buy, Sell, Trade will take these. They might not, because they'll probably think that they're kids. This is Lane Bryant, just a pair of linen cropped pants with the cute little detail on the roll up. Whoopsie, draw string. These are size 1820. Try those at Buy, Sell, Trade. This is new with tag Yuwani. I've never heard of that, but it's just a pair of black linen shorts. Take those to buy, sell, trade before summer ends. Tommy Hilfiger linen shorts. Size large. Tommy Hilfiger linen skirt. Does it have little shorts inside of it? No. And that's a size large. Uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren shorts. I might try those at Buy, Sell, Trade. I mean, no, at the Real Real. But I thought since they're shorts, I should try them, try them at Buy, Sell, Trade first. But I might get more money at the Real Real. We'll see. Or thread up. I'm just trying. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just experimenting. And this is Gap khaki shorts size they're called it's called boyfriend roll-up 
and I don't know what size they are. It does not tell me. Okay. Again, that's going to buy, sell, trade, and that is 30 items. Next set of 10 for to take to buy, sell, trade first, and then into thread up. Lady Hagen. Never heard of that, but it's a cute little mini skirt. Um, Vintage America. Need to research that brand, but it's like a paper bag waist um, tapered. I think they're cropped jeans. Can Can jeans. Never heard of that brand. It's like just a straight leg. Size 2XL. And Hollister, just a pair of tiny, super skinny jeans, size, it says 20, waist 23, length 30, so they don't look like they're guys, unless they're unisex, I don't know. Just taking them to buy, sell, trade. And this is Polo Jeans Co., whoops, size 6. Just a pair of um, like cargo pants, straight leg. Let me throw those away over there. Okay. Then BCX, just a short sleeve little blouse. I was gonna do thread up first, but I'm gonna try by sell trade since it's summer and that's uh, sleeveless. Over there. Same with these next few things. Agenda Petite. Just a cute little top. For summer. And this is, oopsie, just a Gap striped cardigan sweater. And Westport 1962, just a linen short sleeve top. That's really cute, size large. I think that would be just a bit too small for me, but it sure is cute. And then this is De Closet. Oops, De Closet, just a um, sheer your little top. So now the count is at 40 items and the next item here is Ink International Concepts. This is going to uh, buy sell trade first because it's sleeveless, it's summer, but it's a really nice black satin like cocktail dress I guess. You could wear it to a wedding. So I'm taking that to buy, sell, trade before I take it to send it into um, thread up. Same here, Torrid. Just a real cute sleeveless striped top. Cute for summer. And this is just universal thread, more for fall. But it's a double XL, um, like a sweater vest. Try that at buy, sell, trade first. And this is Calvin Klein jeans, like a sweatshirt with a really cool detail here, the stitching, the logo, and then it's got like a really cool detail at the bottom. And this is J. Crew, just a, uh, a chambray shirt. Is that what you would call like a light, kind of a light denim? Keep to throw over stuff for summer. And this is a guy's Vans shirt, so I will just keep trying this at buy, sell, trade, or sell it myself on online. Because Thread Up does not take guy's stuff. And this is a Banana Republic chambray shirt. Buy, sell, trade first. 
And this is a guy's 2X Wrangler. I think it's a guy's. Could be a girl's. Um, just a, a gingham shirt. I can't talk. I'm a dork. This is Gap. Size medium. Whoops. Just a striped chambray shirt. I don't know if that's guys or girls. But I'm going to try it at Buy Sell Trade first. Maybe I'll try that at Thread Up too. And this is a Lucky Brand chambray shirt. Uh, lots of shirts. So now the count is at 50 items. And the next item is Shein. Just a long, like a long jersey knit skirt. I would never pick up Shein brand new because um, it's such, it's like the worst fast fashion, but pre-owned, let's give it another go before it goes to the landfill. So that's going to go to buy, sell, trade. Um, I wouldn't send that into thread up because it's just, I don't even think there's a payout for it. And this is Nishiki. Um, this is like a bike, a biking, a bicycling shirt. And this I'll sell. I can get okay money for it on eBay. So I'll sell that one myself over there and this is just kind of a really cool hat it's got like a pocket in it right there oh wait no that goes through oh, there's something about it I don't know what that's for probably somebody knows and they're going why don't you know I don't know what brand that is but I thought it was a good item and I'll probably wait till uh, winter to take that actually no I lied it's it's hot mocks Maybe I'll look on eBay and uh, comp that out, and if it's worth it, I'll list it. Otherwise, I'll wait till the winter time to take that to buy, sell, trade. And this is just a pair of Oshkosh um, sweats. And these are kids, so I'll send these to Thread Up because they don't take kids stuff at the buy, sell, trade store. Or I might see if my nephew will fit these. Actually, these might fit my nephew. I might be sending those to him. Let's see, Volcom, just a, um, like a t-shirt, jersey knit, uh, long sleeve hooded shirt for buy, sell, trade. I'll keep trying that. I'm not going to send that one to thread up, so I'll just keep trying it at buy, sell, trade. My local Plato's is being very picky right now, and there's another shop uh, kind of across the street from it that's kind of a, a more of a mom and pop, and they take more stuff from me. Um, but there is a new uh, Play-Dohs in a town kind of close to me, maybe 20, 30 minutes away. And I don't know if it's worth it to drive up there, but the gal at mine said that they're taking lots of stuff. This is Aero, just a, um, a little cropped hoodie. I might see if my son's girlfriend might want that. Um, but again, I won't send that one to thread up, I don't think. This is Yakin Yeti, just a zip up hoodie with a really cool design, like a cutout design on the front. And I'm seeing that my lighting is kind of fuzzy. I might have to clean up my lens. This is Puma. Pullover, is it a pullover? Oh, it's a zip up, but it's got kind of a sideways detail. It's kind of cool. So if they don't take this at buy, sell, trade, I'll send that to thread up. I, I'm assuming it's women's because of the style. And this is just, I almost didn't pick this up. It's a no brand, kind of almost like a print on demand because there's a million of these on like eBay. But I grabbed it just to see if buy, sell, trade would want it. I won't send it to thread up. I'll just keep trying it at buy, sell, trade or I'll see if my son or his girlfriend want that. Then, what's this brand? Oh, it's just a, a souvenir sweatshirt from Seaside, Oregon. Um, and I'll just keep trying that at Buy, Sell, Trade. See if one of the kids wants it or, you know, keep, keep trying it. Now we're at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That was 60 items. And the next item is Calvin Klein, just a sleeveless top. 
I'm going to try that at buy sell trade first since it's summer and then send that into thread up or maybe see if the real real takes Calvin Klein like this we'll see and then this is just I don't know what the brand is but I thought it was a really cute athletic bra and it's very small so I'm sure it's a girl's athletic bra or um, bathing suit top so they probably won't take it at buy sell trade but I'm going to try it anyway and if not I will send it into thread up and then this is an, a, just an Adidas athletic tank top and a Nike dry fit athletic tank top and for some weird reason my camera stopped right then so now I'm getting worried that it's missing that I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff but anyway the next one is a um, Reebok athletic top for buy sell trade and an Adidas t-shirt like a performance t-shirt and just a Skechers t-shirt. Um, here's a Mickey Mouse t-shirt. I won't try that at Thread Up. I'll either try Buy Sell Trade, keep trying it there, or just sell that myself online. And another Mickey t-shirt for Christmas. I'll hold on to this one until the holidays. Or maybe I'll list it now, and then if it doesn't sell, I'll take it to Buy Sell Trade at Christmas time. And then here's just... Um, I don't know what this means or anything, but it says the quiet one, but I thought it was kind of fun. So I'll take that to buy, sell, trade, or see if my son's girlfriend wants that. I don't know if that's her style or not. So now we're at 70 items. And the next um, 10, these are t-shirts that are just going to go to buy, sell, trade, or my son or his girlfriend. But I will not send these, try these at thread up at all. So I'll just keep trying them at buy, sell, trade, or see if the kids want them. And this is just, um, what's the brand? Boxer Craft, but it's just an Oregon Ducks little cropped t-shirt with the stripes there and the logo on the back with the, the um, leopard print. And there's the logo on the front. And just a tank top, Brooklyn. Does it say Brooklyn? Yeah, Brooklyn, New York Jets. And here's just a Gap tie-dye t-shirt. I can't tell the difference between Gap Outlet or regular Gap. I need to find that out. My son used to work at Gap Outlet. Um, this is just a, a kid-sized Thrasher shirt, but my son's girlfriend is tiny, so she might want that. Um, otherwise, I'll see if they'll take it. They'll probably consider it a kid's item. And here's just a, a local in and out burger t-shirt for Oregon. And then I don't know what brand this is, but I thought it was kind of a cool shirt. Might be one of those print on demand ones that people design and sell on Amazon. Um, this is a Nike t-shirt, holding it down. Has kind of a retro look to it, but it's, it's not vintage because it's got the print tag. Then anatomy clothing. thought that was kind of a cool graphic. And this is, it says, Germany, Emery's, Italia, Sangria. Is that what it says? Oh, Storia. I don't know what that is, but I thought it was a cool graphic. And then this, I won't even take to thread up, but to uh, buy, sell, trade. I thought either my son or his girlfriend might want this. It's just a cut up Nirvana t-shirt. See if they want that. If not, I will just redonate it. So that was 80 items, and I have nine more for a total of 89 items. The next one is a London Fog men's uh, kind of puffer vest. And... I might try and see if the real real takes London Fog. Otherwise, um, I'll try to sell it myself. Then this is a little kid's new with tag, Bobora. I thought this was so cute. Little shirt dress. I'll send that into Thread Up because they take kids stuff. 
And this is, I believe, a vintage champion t-shirt. Um, I'll take this to either my son or his girlfriend will want it, or I, my sister and I do a vintage market every couple months, or I just got a little tiny booth at a, at a vintage shop. So um, these next items are all vintage, and those will go either to the booth or to um, the vintage market. And this is vintage Premier Kittengora. Is that Angora? I don't, it's not very soft. It's just a, a yellow cardigan sweater. And this is a vintage bathing suit. It said maximum recording time reach, so it turned itself off. Anyway, this vintage bathing suit, the brand is Sirena, California made in USA. The little inner bra thing is really crunchy. So, you know, if someone wanted to make a costume out of it or do something, but I can never pass up something vintage like this and that will go in the booth. And this is vintage Liz Claiborne knit skirt. I'm thinking that might be 80s. Not sure and a vintage Janssen wool skirt and a vintage Norm Thompson I don't know if that was a national store or if it was just in my hometown of Portland but I thought that was kind of fun with the different colored zippers a little zip up kind of a sweatshirt cardigan and then the last item is this scarf it's misfit seattle and it's just like a scarf that you put on your head like this cute cute pattern so that was 89 pieces but i'm going to call it 90 because i also grabbed a sheet out of her shop to pack up all the clothes in. So I'll count that as the, the last item to make it an even 90. So $40 uh, divided by 90 is 44 cents for each piece. And that is better than Ben's prices. So I'm really excited about that. We'll see how we do with buy, sell, trade and with thread up and or the real real. And um, yeah. I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. And hope you're having a great weekend. Bye.